Okay, as an aside, Quinn is like 16. What is a 16 year old gonna do with that money? Like, what's, what's, what's he gonna do? What's he, what's he gonna do? Uh, buy bubblegum? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have a lot of opinions about what you just said. <laughs> and I will defend them. I'll defend from showing them until after class. Uh, so. Game one Did of I just get hit by the see me after class for a boomer game one moment? of Light vs. Quid in Grand Finals. Uh, as a quick little reminder, Quid uh, did indeed send him heal, so it's going to be the gun back between the two. And if I'm Light, I'm playing with a chip on my shoulder. I really want to be able to take this and just like that with a confident kill confirm. You're going to up smash the classic. Yeah, and it's, oh, you know, also Light, very, very warm. He's just been playing so many games against Miles, another great Westchester player. So, whereas Quid, you know, he's probably in the corner playing some games, trying to keep himself fresh, but not in the same way. It might take him a little bit of time to remember his composure and remember what he needs to be doing in this set. Just dashing back and forth, able to... Oh my... Quid is doing a really good job of just keeping it light into the corner, but finally finds that in with the grab. And that was a really good read too, because that's how Quid has been keeping him out. Every dash attack, every landing nail on shield, Quid has been punishing out of shield. Is that going to be it? Yes, it is. Quid takes that stop. That's the first overextension we've seen from Light, and I think we probably won't be seeing many more after that. The cost of doing so is just far, far too great. That's that. Yeah. Misses the jab lock. Well, misses the down and up smash. Misses the jab lock, but then still is comfortable enough in that situation to continue the attack chase and, and just holds it and, and gets the kill anyways. Oh man, look at all of this damage that already has been dealt to Quid. Oh, but what a pivot grab, and Quid can quickly return it, but not anticipating the tech roll in in that position. Quid just keeps on putting on this damage, not able to catch Light's next tech options. He's been getting out of a lot of these situations. You know, I'm seeing some physical reactions from Light. He's landing these forward smashes, but he's kind of shoving his hands up in the air as if perhaps they're actually missing inputs. So I'm wondering, I mean, that, that's is. enough, yeah. But... What did he say? I think he said if I get, like, forward smash instead of up smash one more time. Well, so yeah, he's he's. I mean, he still won the game, but it seems like he's he's definitely. What's the word? He's on the verge of being tilted. Yeah. Well, okay, they just laughed about something, so it's fine. They're all friends now. I think. So, I, I feel like I feel like Quick uh, wasn't able to get much of the stuff that he got started for him on the winners' final set, right? So going into this next game. I, I really like what Sporkle was doing for him, and and I, I feel like he was maybe really focused on Ivy Sporkle. I'm not sure why. Okay, well, I do think that the beginning of the game is Look really important. Uh, because if Squirtle, if he manages to do a lot of, the big thing is if he takes too much damage as Squirtle, he feels forced into going off of Squirtle and basically loses this character as a tool in the early percent, which is really important for him. But, but look at how much Squirtle is just doing for Quid right now. He has been consistently keeping him away. He's been meeting him in the air. Squirtle has the ground speed that Quid needs to keep up with Light. Another nice dash attack combo, but Light not really aiming for the kill just yet. We're seeing these hops, those neutral airs, those, we Quid. know what those mean if they connect. Quid wants that razor relief up, he wants that razor relief up smash. He's playing so patiently, is, is he going to be able to find the super? Oh! oh no, not quite, but that back go is going to be able to seal it out. You have to remember just how Light uh, Fox is. <laughs> 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 okay. Quid anyway. is going to be able to use the up B hitbox as a bit of coverage for him to get no back onto the stage. Look at this planking. Look at these mix-ups. But you know what? Light just jumping and waiting for the lead grab, and that's exactly what you have to do. Quid was all out of mix-ups. Yeah, I don't think that was an intent. Oh, my God. So this is exactly where you don't want to be as Quid. He's already at 70, 80%. He's pretty much forced to swap off of I swap to Ivysaur, because otherwise he can die to so many options. Yep. No, instead he's going to stay with Squirtle. He's realized that even if he switches to Ivysaur, he's losing losing access, you know, to his best pops tool. Pops out of that oh. forward, pops out of that multi hit and only gets hit with the back hit of up smash. Once again, Light is not going to be able to find a lot of those points of execution, but you know what? Doesn't matter at the end of the day. Gets that back hit and closes out that stock. 
and it is worth noting that a lot, especially in the first set between these two, Quid was able to reverse the ledge situations by going for that ledge jump back air, and that time, Light stayed what above. A two this could be so big, and he holds on to that double jump just to foil it back on so, so often. It has been Light's get out of jail fleet party. <gasps> Doesn't get the attack chase onto the platform. That was surprising. That's usually the setup. All right, that's going to be it, though. Uh, he's going to Sarzard, but only because he wants this boy Squirtle back in the wheelhouse. And then oh. it begins. Here it begins. Damage, even to back up, and now has to find a way to catch Light's landing. But that really quick reversal with Drill, man, that move just been doing so much for them. Okay, notice that Light, he's not going for forward throws. He's not putting Ivysaur at the ledge. Instead, he's putting him above him, realizing that that juggle opportunity is probably what's going to net him a stock at this point. And you can see the fear already coming out in Quid's eyes. Oh, Quid setting up another tech chase, but still ends up being behind Light each time. Look at all these ledge mix-ups. Tries to maybe go for the shield poke there, but Light is not going to fall susceptible to it quite yet. And that call out is going to be able to close out that stock. Light just it's, played so patiently. Yeah. Quid, when he's Ivysaur, is so... He's so pressured to go for the jump, yeah. you know? He's so pressured for when landing. And that's something that time and time again we've seen Light. He just waits yeah. there. He either jumps or he doesn't even need to jump sometimes. He just threatens it. And once Quid exhausts that jump, he's a sitting duck. Yeah. Ivysaur's aerial mobility is so bad that he just goes right up there and absolutely destroys him. So, uh, I think one adjustment Quid needs to make is uh, maybe, I mean, at the very least, don't just jump with Ivysaur when you're landing. Maybe try and challenge with hitboxes more often. Especially after at those kill percents when Light is throwing out. Oh, Ooh, that's you know, a bit of an open commitment, but Light buffers uh, the get-up option from the ledge instead of getting ledge jump. So that interaction was super, super vital. Has no double jump, but then just fast fall neutral air dodges uh, to safety. The switch to Ivy Soak is really important because you know what? If you oh, got off no. the ledge, but the timing delay, that angle was so, so small. And just like that, still living by a hill uh, to that upbeat. And Quid dies first, and he taunts. That's a taunt that's well deserved. That's a taunt that can really mess with your opponent, considering the fact that oh, <laughs> that was so. Oh that's my funny. God! He parried oh the my. first hit of down air oh. and used the armor from the rest of Charizard's upbeat to punish Light. That's a, that's a generous move. That move definitely gives you a lot of insurance and a lot of leeway. Quid gets the parry on the falling forward, but you always have to just make sure to either parry all the other multi hits or just hold your shield. This is sort of, it's every time he's brought to this percent threshold, especially if he's trapped at the corner, he knows like getting back in or up smashed at oh, this point. He tries to fight out of there, but Light is just so comfortable in that position. That is his ledge trap to be able to find Quinn with the quick reverse, although back here is so smug as it sends Light off stage. Oh, the weight. That Ivysaur forward smash can cover a lot of options, but it just wasn't able to do it that time around. He's, we have not really seen the Charizard at all. Gets a two frame, but doesn't get the spike hitbox. He tries to go through the back there, but you know what? At the end of the day, quick caught that jump. And you know what? We're back to even. And that was so pivotal. The fact that he was able to switch to Charizard and get that kill. We hadn't really seen any Charizard, as I mentioned before. And it's like, maybe it is a viable tool. Quid is so patient off of the ledge. Takes a bit of Pixan in doing so, but manages to find his way back on, but still just keeps getting juggled over and over by Light. Catches the Ivy. Oh, this could be so big. Does not find the grab, though. Light taking a little bit too much knockback for that oh. to take effect. Oh, my lord. <laughs> okay. There's another one of those drills. Can be punished out of shield. Yeah, Light is trying to land and the patience to quit. Is that going to be it? Not quite. Still is able to jump out of the down throw. Mm. Oh, we didn't want that. was that. a falling up move. That was a falling up move. We must have put it as an up tilt. Oh. The bracket reset. You know, honestly, in pretty quick fashion. It does feel like now, though. Quid, Quid is, is inching closer yeah. and closer as he's making one adaptation after another. I feel like that's what you're going to say. Did yes. I read your mind? Yes, Let's that was go. exactly what was on my <laughs> mind. Uh, and the fact that Quid won the winner's bracket means that he has the room to figure it out. And yeah. I do think that regardless of who wins this next set, I wouldn't I would be shocked if it wasn't a game five. Yeah. 
I think I think Quinn has been doing a really good job of adapting thus far. He's starting to really understand how to punish Lay out of shield. One of the biggest key changes, he is respecting Nate on shield. He's holding his own shield where he's picking another good defensive option. And for Downer, that's a neutral out of shield consistently. He's not letting Light get away with uh, these buttons, and he knows exactly which ones he wants to be respecting and when. Yeah, and it's, uh, the thing is, it's important that those kill percents, you know, because think about the risk reward if you are light for a falling neutral air, especially when your opponent's at like 90 and you're at 40. You know, the, the, the reward is you win the game. The risk is, you know, maybe you need a punish, maybe eat a neutral or something like that. And so, uh, in a way, I'm actually surprised we're not seeing the mix-up game immediately from light. Uh, I feel like he was, in a way, a little too desperate for that last game. Uh, to just take the stock, because uh, we all we always that see him go. That really gonna be so big. Look at these punishes just by virtue of being a fast follow. But is able to find so many good grabs, and therein lies the beauty of Town and City. As much as it gives your opponent the ability to go high, you can still sit on that top platform and wait for them. Ooh. Okay. That parry, but doesn't hold shield. Instant neutral air from life. It comes out so quickly, and when they both take to the air like that, Fox has a, I, I think it might be frame three, or it might be frame four, but still, Squirtle doesn't have an aerial option that's quite that fast, I don't think. I like that Quid tried to preemptively cover the platform just in case Light decided to go high, but speaking of going high, it's going high all right. He's, he's going all the way up. Quid caught that jump with a really, really nicely spaced up air. These tether cancels, the way that Quid's been using them, he just makes himself so tricky and so slippery as he gets back onto the stage. Yeah, and oh, they faded back! You could yeah. see that Light tried to turn around to punish him, but in the end, it didn't matter that much. Light's still able to get the up smash, and now we're at the, you know, despite the fact that Light uh, did lose that stock first. Okay, he's, he's keeping it neck and neck, absolutely even. Gets that up tilt, tries to go for another up out of there, and just like that, he's basically evened up the percent. Light, I mean, Light's execution and confidence are so good, but getting a little bit too antsy with trying to close out the stop, and Quid turns this advantage into his own. Oh, that tech was so pivotal. And, oh, interesting, tries to go for down there out of shield. Off of the parry at this point. Look at it, 96 to 107. To That's going to be a back through as a bit of a DI mix-up. Light's DI, definitely not on point as it really should have been. Quid tries to go through the two point oh. with down there. Is this going to be it? Yes, the down it is. Blow. The fact that Ivy Sword does have a kill throughout those later percents. And this reminds me of in that first set we saw where all of a sudden Quid started to maneuver, dance around him throughout these oh options my, what that a pivot grab. Yeah, Tries clearly Light's not ready for. I love the fact that Quid double jumped back on. He's still going to be living to that up smash. He can't take another one of those. But the fact that Quid is just avoiding these le the legend, these really good spots, is making sure that he's not getting ledged. Okay, this is another one of those situations. Look at that, he didn't burn the jump this time. He just came down swinging with back airs. Recognized that that was how he was dying all the time before. I, that was a miss input, I'm sure. I do not think he wanted to go past the ledge right there. Not when Light was positioned so far away. Look at that wait. Quid was just outside of his immediate area of effect. Found the whiff punish. Got that wave land, but no punish on it quite yet. Is that going to be the it? Yes, it is. And Quid going up one game here in true grand finals. Oh boy. So... The big difference between, you know, the last three games we've had and that one was the unconventional movement from Quid. Yeah. He was really putting himself in places where Light was just not expecting him also, to be. He waited. Quid waited. Quid stopped dashing in and out, stopped yeah. showing up. And there was a very specific point where Quid sat there, waited, said, hey, what are you going to do? You're going to try to hit me while I'm jumping? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sit in place. I'm going to wait for you to be the first one to commit. And then he was just able to get punished. All right, now we are moving into <laughs> game two here. So far, Quid has the, s the game advantage. We actually haven't seen him have a game advantage against Light yet. And immediately, 53%. These Squirtle combos are looking ever nice. Light gonna be putting Quid off stage once again. Tries to get that falling now, and therein lies the only counter play where you can try to win, punish the neutral uh, with a get up attack with <laughs> ledge. Light, grassing buttons. So, so, uh, he was, the way he noticed the fact he moved back, and earlier, he would always move back and go for upbeat, and that's why he air dodged. He moved back to bait it, and that was so brilliant from Quid, he's definitely figured, I feel like the game, the game's 
like one through three of this grand finals were honestly just him putting bad habits in Light's head. I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if by the end he's like, no, I'm just going to make sure that you think I'm going to do things that I will never do again in a million years. There it is, drill up smash. Light, luckily not going to be bleeding a little bit too much. Still is going to be able to find that kill. That, I can't believe he shielded that dash attack. Light was, uh, was late on the trigger. Puts Light off stage, tries to catch that double jump back on, but he's still able to outmaneuver the quid every single step of the way. Squirtle, low profiling up tilt that first time around. Sure. Oh. Yeah, quid now. This is sort of what we were seeing earlier, though, where Light manages to get him in disadvantage. Oh, okay, never mind. Now what we've been seeing in earlier, this is... Oh man, this is like a brand new Quid. This is Quid, honestly, in even better form than he was in the winner's bracket. Uh, that, that Tomahawk grab was just so smart with him, Light. He just knew that Quid, as Quid, as Pokemon Trainer, you can just sit and shield there, and the worst thing happens is that you grab. Right? So, going for grabs there, at the end of the day, is just going to put on damage and put the opponent into disadvantage. You'll never kill off of a throw as Fox. I will say that Quid is getting him a lot more by the falling neutral air, the falling down air into up smash. He was doing a really good job of playing around that, and he might be feeling himself a little bit too comfortably to remember to, uh, to appropriately fear what Light still can do. That's a conclusion. Goes Light into a really dangerous position off, but a little bit too slow on finding the down air. Keeps on resetting the situation, over committing to that second razor relief, and that is Light's opening. He has reset the situation. How does he make the most out of it? Again with a throw. We're not seeing Light go for up throws anymore. That was like one of the key things he was doing. What was that? Tether cancel up it. I, okay, Quid had not done that. I've never seen Quid do that. And Light was just not prepared. He felt so safe on the ledge. We're seeing him go for the, you know, run it back, run it back. But this is now Quid up 2-0. Light needs to be make, making the reverse 3-0 now if he wants to not lose in the entire tournament. Yeah, that was, that was pretty naughty. The way that he uses his tether cancels is so smart. But sometimes he just tether cancels and double jumps back on. Sometimes he just tethers right back on. Sometimes he tethers and he hangs. He's just really looking for the specific things that the opponent is doing, especially out of shield. He catches you slipping once. <laughs> Sorry, just a tiny bit of a drift he had with water gun, where he used like the water gun animation to just like barely maneuver around light, and now he's found that one opening. Oh boy. Oh, just waiting. Once again, Quid just waiting for Light to be able to land with a hitbox in places that he really, really should be. I'm sorry, but the upbeat. The fact he went for it. Ah, uh, that amazing coverage from Quid once again. Recognizes he can't get a tooth frame quite yet, so doesn't want to commit. He air dodges into him. I he know that, that coming. I thought he was going to land onto the platform. I know, but things like Light has been going for that up tilt so often. It's like these are very particular, exact call outs that Quid is engaging in right now. Quid still just able to cover just in the moment. Is he going to be able to find the skill? Yes, he is with another pivot grab down to go. Light is consistently double jumping back onto the stage with a hitbox. Oh, but immediately answers that. No chance for Quid to even get any extra credit. And we're now back to one, uh, two stocks apiece, a clean even. But only for an instant does Light manage to get a quick 30% combo. As soon as Quid finds that f as soon as he is able to get in there, that's going to be just big damage inbound. So he just needs one in, and there it is. Massive. Okay, kind of ends it a little bit early. Still get some solid damage on Light, but I love the idea of yeah, holding back, just making sure to maintain stage positioning because he has been very consistently punishing Light's landings. Such good spacing for Light too. Any further to the left and to the right, he would have fell victim to Squirtle's down smash there. Oh, that's smash. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not the first time we've seen that where Quid overextends just a little bit. Oh, is he dead? Yes, and that was incredible! Is. Oh my god! He keeps catching these high recovery. These light is completely unwilling to go to the ledge. And even though that is such an awful position to put yourself in, especially against Pokemon Trainer, all these high recoveries are leaving him vulnerable as well. The jab from Fox, that two frame option, just too quick. And now light, he realizes that everything is on the line. This might be the last stock of the entire tournament for him. He's trying his best to continue the pressure, and it 
does! Look at that, 78%. This is the thing that's really scary for Quid. He's basically forced to switch to Ivysaur because he cannot afford to have that lightness of Squirtle hold him back. But how on these earlier percents is he going to initiate? really manage? Ivysaur genuinely struggles to initiate, and, and he was really making the most out of Squirtle's speed. He tries to find the up hit and lands it right into the up smash. That's a struggle with Ivy. You don't have the ability to stall too much. You don't have any safe and quick buttons to throw out. And also, so this is a big Pokemon trainer issue. Your air speed is not good. As Fox, when your entire game plan it revolves around you trying to scout out landings, when you're trying to find the opponent being vulnerable just for one second, when they're slow and they don't have that many Pokemon landing mix-ups besides the occasional switch, you're basically a setting duck for Fox. And Light did a really good job of tracking Quinn. Yeah, it's, it feels like the sort of the litmus test for whether or not like like Light is going to be taking a game or not is if he's able to deal with the Squirtle at the earlier percents, if he's able to get the first initial hit, and oh, right away. That first initial hit, and that time catches the DI out, just goes for the immediate finisher, which I really like because it does put Light off stage. He got nothing off of it, but the sentiment is there. Oh, yeah. All right, we're starting to see a little more polished light combos. I feel like he was maybe struggling to really do those in the uh, by the end of the last few games, but yeah, here we have it. Look at him! Oh man, already at ninety percent. Light just feels like he's in control, even if he's not, even if he doesn't have any stage control. Tries to go for the up smash, but a little bit too much knockback onto Squirtle, so he's not going to be able to find it quite yet. Quid committing to those dashes, and and you know what? Tries to go for a bit of a high recovery, and Light is just on top of it. I don't really know about those dashes as I just at mid range, because you leave yourself really vulnerable to a straight dash attack. Ooh. The turnaround immediately! I thought that Light was going to start really running away with this game, but no. We'd still start really struggling to fight from behind. Yeah, and now he has no jump with that lim limited aerial mobility. It seems like he's really struggling to find an opening. He's is getting these pills. <gasps> Light, wait, Light waited. He knew that it was coming, but just maybe was not fully confident in committing to the up smash. But that time is going to be able to find the kill as Quid does miss the tech. Two stocks to one. This is really good for the light, but Quid's conversions can't sleep on him. Oh, he's still able to continue the hits here. <gasps> this, is, this could possibly He still. waited for it, but Ivysaur is too slow to be able to cover that platform in time. Yeah, look at that. He's trapped on that platform. Somehow, what? Just such a strange interaction right there. Quid now brings it to a one stock game for both of them. Keep in mind, Quid only has to win. One more stock and he That's wins so the big. entire tournament. Light, light mashes out. He somehow got a jab in the midst of all that. Really good on him just to break out of whatever Squirtle had cooking up in the moment. Oh, this is really dangerous. And we are now reaching the point where I'd say, yeah, now he's forced to switch to Ivysaur. That's the exact percent range where he... <laughs> that cross-up is so important. He got back onto the stage. He put Fox into a tech chase onto the platform. Now he's forced to recover high. No double jump. Okay, again, gets the Razor Leaf, tries to go for the up beat, it does not land! Back air putting Quid way off stage, trapped at the ledge! I love those recovery mix-ups again, and now that is Charizard. Oh, that is no, the Charizard, is that it? It is! The Charizard, the character who for the most of that tournament had done almost wow. nothing! He had been in the back pocket, and in the end, forward tilt at ledge is enough!